मार देता मार देता मार देता मार देता Independence Day is the official Independence Day of Federation of Malaya. It commemorates the Malayan Declaration of Independence of August 31, 1957, and is defined in Article 160 of the Constitution of Malaysia. The day is marked by official and unofficial ceremonies and observances. The observation of 31st of August as Malaysia's national day is the cause of some controversy due to calls to prioritize the celebration of Hari Malaysia Malaysia Day on 16th of September instead. Hari Malaysia commemorates the formation of Malaysia in 1963 when four entities called North Borneo, Sarawak, Singapore and Malaya Federation to form Malaysia. Some, especially people from East Malaysia, argue that it is illogical to celebrate 31st of August 195 as Malaysia's national day when Malaysia was only established in 1963. Before that there was no Malaysia. Supporters of Hari Merdeka argue that the federation as defined in Article 160 of the Constitution of Malaysia is the Federation of Malaya that was established in 1957 the effort for independence was spearheaded by Tunku Abdul Rahman the first prime minister of Malaysia who led a delegation of ministers and political leaders of Malaya in negotiations with the British in London for Merdeka or independence along with the first president of the Malaysian Chinese Association MCA Tan Dato Sri Tan Cheng Lok and fifth president of Malaysian Indian Congress Tan B T Sam Banthan once it became clear that the communist threat posed during the Malayan emergency was petering out agreement was reached on February 8 1956 for Malaya to gain independence from the British Empire however logistical and administrative reasons led to the official proclamation of independence in the next year on August 31st 1957 at Stadium Merdeka Independence Stadium in Kuala Lumpur which was purposely built for the celebrations of National Independence Day the announcement of the day was set months earlier by the Tanku in a meeting of the alliance in Melaka on the night of August 30th 1957 More than 20,000 people gathered at Merdeka Square, Padang Merdeka, in Kuala Lumpur, to witness the handover of power from the British. Prime Minister designate Tanku Abdul Rahman arrived at 11:58 p.m. and joined members of the Alliance Party's youth divisions in observing 2 minutes of darkness. On the stroke of midnight, the lights were switched back on, and the union flag in the square was lowered as the royal anthem. God save the queen played. The new flag of Malaya was raised as the national anthem Negraku was played. This was followed by seven chants of Merdeka by the crowd. Tanku Abdul Rahman later gave a speech hailing the ceremony as the greatest moment in the life of the Malayan people. Before giving the address to the crowd, he was given a necklace by representatives of the Alliance Party Youth in honor of this great occasion in history with the map of Malaya inscribed on it. The event ended at 1 in the morning. On the morning of August 31st, 1957, the festivities moved to the newly completed Merdeka Stadium. More than 20,000 people witnessed the ceremony, which began at 9:30 a.m. Those in attendance included rulers of the Malay states, foreign dignitaries, members of the federal cabinet, and citizens. The Queen's representative, the Duke of Gloucester, presented Tanku Abdul Rahman. with the instrument of independence dot tanku then proceeded to read the proclamation of independence which culminated in the chanting of merdeka seven times with the crowd joining in the ceremony continued with the raising of the national flag of malaya accompanied by the national anthem being played by a military band and the 21 gun salute followed by an azan call and a thanksgiving prayer in honor of this great occasion The day followed with the solemn installation of the first Yangdi Pertuan Agong to Anku Abdul Rahman of Ajri Sambalan at Jalan Ampang and the first installation banquet in his honor in the evening followed by a beating retreat performance and a fireworks display sports events and other events marked the birth of the new nation the foreign guests of honor included 
members of royal families, the king and queen of Thailand, the crown prince and princess of Japan, the duke and duchess of Gloucester, representing the queen, Prince William of Gloucester, the prime minister of South Africa, Johannes Gerarda Stridgedom, the prime minister of India, Jawaharlal Nehru, the prime minister of Pakistan, Hussein Shahid Surawardi, the Prime Minister of Vietnam, Pam Van Dong. The Prime Minister of Ceylon, Solomon Bondaranayaka. The Prime Minister of Burma, Yunil. The Prime Minister of Cambodia, Sim Var. The United States Secretary of State, John Foster Dulles. Representing U.S. President Dwight D. Eisenhower. The Governor of Hong Kong, Sir Alexander Grantham. The Chief Minister of Singapore, Lim Yu Hock. Sir Gerald Templer, former British High Commissioner in Malaya, and Lady Templer. Lady Gurney, wife of former British High Commissioner in Malaya Sir Henry Gurney. Lady Gent, wife of former British High Commissioner in Malaya Sir Edward Gent. High Commissioners of other Commonwealth countries. High Commissioner of Canada to Malaya, Arthur Redpuff Menzies. High Commissioner of Australia to Malaya, Tom Critchley. High Commissioner of New Zealand to Malaya. Foss Shanahan and Yuhang. The Federation of Malaysia, comprising the states of the Federation of Malaya, North Borneo, Sarawak and Singapore, was officially declared on August 31, 1963, on the sixth anniversary of Malayan independence. However, it was postponed to September 16, 1963, mainly due to Indonesian and the Philippines' opposition to the formation of Malaysia. Nevertheless, North Borneo and Singapore declared sovereignty, on August 31, 1963. Indonesian opposition later escalated to a military conflict. Indonesia considered Malaysia as a new form of colonization, on Sarawak and North Borneo, which bordered Indonesian territory on Borneo. However, they did not lay claim upon the two territories, unlike the Philippines which claimed the eastern part of Sabah. To assure Indonesia that Malaysia was not a form of neo-colonialism, a general survey, instead of a referendum, was organized by the United Nations involving interviews, of approximately 4,000 people, which received 2,200 memorandums from groups, and private individuals. The Cobold Commission, led by Lord Cobold, was also formed to determine whether, the people of North Borneo, and Sarawak wished to join Malaysia. Their eventual findings, which indicated substantial support, for Malaysia among the peoples of Sabah and Sarawak, cleared the way for the final proclamation of Malaysia. The formation of the Federation of Malaysia, was announced on September 16, 1963, the anniversary of which is celebrated as Malaysia Day. Hari Murtiko continued to be celebrated on 31st of August, the original Independence Day of Malaya, while Malaysia Day became a public holiday only in East Malaysia. This caused discontent among East Malaysians in particular, it being sometimes felt that celebrating, the National Day on 31st of August is Malaya-centric. In 2009, it was decided that starting 2010, Malaysia Day would be a nationwide public holiday, in addition to Hari Murtika on 31st of August.